welcome to a new video on my channel. I'm on 27 minutes I'm from Germany right now in Tokyo, Japan. It's in Shinjuku. This is my area where I live right now for about a month or more. I don't know. But today is going to be a little bit different. Today is going to be my first cheat day. Yes, guys. My first cheat day after I think six weeks or something. And my plans for today is to go to some Japanese chains. For sure we got the Burger King, we got McDonald's, we got Krispy Kreme, we got Taco Bell, we got Wendy's, we got really Baskin Robbins, everything. Really you can buy here everything that you have also in the USA. But just because I'm in Japan guys, I really want to try in my first G Day video some Japanese chains and more Japanese cuisines. So my first stop is going to be Mr. Donuts. It's right in front of me. It's a Japanese uh, donut chain. Uh, you can buy the donuts, but also for sure some savory items. It's like the Dunkin' Donuts from Japan. And yes, let's go there first. Let's see what we can get. And then it's time to dig into my first meal. I'm starving right now. And here we are, Mr. Donuts. Donuts after six weeks. Oh yeah. Donuts. A honey glaze. Kind of a French cooler. A cake donut. And also a matcha donut. I'm super excited for them. You don't know. Also we got some milk protein, a Japanese milk protein also. Just to wash them down. Let's try out first the old fashioned one. And I think I got only one time an old fashioned donut, so let's try it out guys. So Cheers with my first bite of my first sugary intake in Japan, Shinjuku, at Mr. Donuts. Wow, this is so, it's so good. You can see it in my eyes. They are shining. This is too good. Oh wow. Mikey greeting you to Los Angeles. Old fashioned, amazing. This tastes like Yakult. I like it. Come on guys, let's try off the mochi donut. You can definitely taste dough and mochi in one. This is crazy. Not too sweet. Super easy to eat. Oh wow. You have the donut taste, but the texture. Really, the mixture of yeast and mochi. So, of the rice flour. Great idea. Let's try this bad boy, guys. I think this is a cake, a chocolate cake donut with some whipped cream filling. I really want to try it out. It looks good, so let's give this bad boy a try. So noisy, so moist, like a brownie. Sugary, chocolatey, oh, amazing. <laughs> Time for donut number four, guys. And I think this is a matcha one. The filled one with matcha cream, but we will see. So soft, fluffy, and the matcha cream is so delicious. Mm. Peanut powder on top. So, like a peanut butter powder combination is fire. Wow. Look at this bad boy, guys. It's a honey dip one. It's a nice. Simple, so simple but so delicious. 
Greetings unique. It's time for Team Big Bite. Team Big Bite, baby. Last but not least, guys, a French cooler with strawberry glaze. And again, the dough. You can see it. That's right out. Mm. And it's filled with custard. Here's the custard. Oh wow. Amazing. One of my favorites. Okay guys, last bite from my first meal of the day. Solid. Definitely. Amazing. And I feel pretty good right now. Hell yeah. And so happy. Okay, the perfect start for the donuts guys, but right now it's time to find out something savory. And I think we will go with some Japanese curry. Let's find Gogo or Coco curry and try some Japanese style curry. Guys, it's time for the next spot and here we are at Gogo curry. It's a Japanese chain for Japanese curry and I saw a lot of videos and I really want to try it. So let's get in and order some Japanese chicken katsu curry. I got such a big craving for it right now, so let's get in. So first we fill in some money. And they got really a lot from pork to lokomoko to fried shrimps. Really a lot. But we will take the chicken katsu one. Here's my ticket. So, let's enjoy. So guys, and here we got my chicken katsu curry. So my first time, and you can see some cabbage. Then, we got the chicken katsu. Look at this cutlet, oh my god, it looks amazing. A lot of curry sauce and under the curry we got the rice. And I wait only two minutes I think. It was two minutes or something. Just crazy. But it steamed up. We had to wait a little bit. Just look how much curry. Oh wow. Just look at it. Amazing. Such Oh wow, a little bit spicy, but just a little, it could be really more spicy, yeah? but the flavor, oh lord, oh, oh wow, mm -hmm. amazing, when cocoa curry can beat this, I don't know, but this is, only the salt right now with the rice is amazing. Well, let's try the chicken katsu. Oh wow, so crispy. Mm. You can taste the quality. Just take a look guys. Under the cutlet. We got so much rice that it's not normal. Perfect for cheat day. So let's enjoy. I'm a chicken heaven. You know what? Wow. Here's greetings to Matt Stoney. Right now, I know why you eat five kilograms from this curry. Super delicious. 
Tot ziens. Tot ziens. Tot ziens. Tot ziens. Tot Only the cabbage left, guys. You know me. I don't like my veggies. I'm sorry, but this was amazing. Highly recommend this place. When you come to Japan, try out Gogo Curry. It was amazing. I feel so good right now. Oh, and full. <laughs> We have to change it up from the savory, so from the curry right now, and eat really something that is sweet again. And right now we are at Bake Cheese Tart. It's in the Shinjuku station, right behind me. And I buy me one cheese tart for 260 yen. And I never tried it before. It looks amazing, it looks delicious, and it smells like a warm cheesecake. So let's try this out, guys. Oh, wow, it's still warm. Look at it guys, look at the cream. This is so delicious. Yeah, this is, I think this is better than donuts. Oh my god. Mm. I have to try this. I highly recommend this place. Oh wow. I highly recommend it. Finally made it at Hokuro the Garden and it's a Japanese bakery. Big greetings to Tabi Eats, Shinichi and Satoshi. You said the bakery is really good. So I got to try this bakery with a lot of Japanese goodies. I will go right now inside. Maybe I can film something because you see it's packed. But after we have to try it out, definitely. Okay guys, the plans got changed. First I want to go to Gindaku for some takoyaki. The store is closed, so I decided for something that is different. We go to a burger place, but not McDonald's. We go to most burgers. It's also a Japanese chain, so let's try out most burgers for the first time. I'm excited. I think I will go with two burgers or something. We will see. Let's go inside and order just something that I really want to and what is really Japanese. Start. And here we got a Japanese spicy curry beef burger with some extra sauce, jalapenos and also a tomato slice that I think I will put out. <laughs> then we got a rice burger with fried shrimp, some seaweed and then we got some onion rings and fries. So let's try it out. So with a special guest, just to let you know, Eric, I pay for everything about 50 bucks. 15 bucks and also a melon soda and this is not so much so it's really pricey here but let's try it out maybe it's good I love Japanese curry so let's see itadakimasu <coughs> the curry is strong mm. Wow, wow. Mm. The mayo or something is so delicious. Mm. The, the first one was too soggy, but this one is crispy. Mm. Onion ring. Mm. The onion ring is. Wow. So melon soda is sugary, sugary drink. It's a cheat day. Mm. 
you ever tried? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love the mayonnaise fondue too. But I'm drinking too. But let's try out strictly the rice burger. Mm -hmm. So, let's see, it's a little bit difficult. But this is a rice patty, you can see it. So sticky rice with soy sauce on top and the shrimp, fried shrimp in the inside. There's a user taste in the background, lemony. Mm. Oh wow. Is it good? Mm. Amazing. <laughs> I never expected something like that. Oh wow. Well. I prefer this more than the beef one. Really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I love Japanese curry, but the fried shrimp with the yuzu flavor and yuzu very citrusy you know? yeah, shrimp. just to let you know guys the portions here in Japanese chains are really not as big like in the US or in Germany or in other countries. They're really kind of small, but it's okay. The rice burger for me today, 10 out of a 10. Never expected something that is so good like that. Mm. And it's a good to texture. Mm. And it's not even a burger. <laughs> yeah, it's a rice burger. Rice shrimp, but it was amazing. All into the biceps. We see us later on, guys. So we are back at home from most burgers, and um, I was also in the 7 Eleven. And I think I will eat first the 7 Eleven items, and then I will go to the bakery items for the last. But I think I will eat it without the camera just to enjoy also something without. But I can show you strictly what we have. So we got some ramyam noodles, the egg salad sandwich, a onigiri, peanut butter sandwich that I really want to try. Oh, actually there are two of them in one box. This ice cream, this thing here, I don't know what this is, but let's try it also out. So in this stick, the flavor, and the flavor from the stick is takoyaki, I don't know. Let's see. Oh wow. The sauce. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Try the ice cream sandwich. Oh wow, this is a huge and big sandwich. Just look at this guy. Oh wow. Yes. Here you can see the cross section. Milk cream with a chocolate slice. Simple, but delicious. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm. So, let's try out. Oh wow, it's like a peanut cream. Mmm, not too heavy. Oh, and with a soft Japanese bread, and you can see all the filling. Delicious and not nutritious. Egg salad sandwich, the famous egg salad sandwich from 7 Eleven, finally. But look at it some pieces of the egg white with all the egg yolk cream. So, terakimas. <laughs> ah, this is nutritious, guys, and delicious. And damn, look at this cream. 
Mmm. So, I will enjoy this bread now. I will make me the noodles. And I will eat the grilled onigiri. Yeah, it smells like soya sauce. So, itadakimasu. Mmm. I gotta say, you cannot taste really that it's grilled, but it's delicious. And the soy sauce makes everything perfect. Okay, see you guys after this meal. For the last one. So guys, it's time. It's time for the last meal. And I buy me 7-Eleven. Ah. And I buy me seven items from the bakery Hokuo. So this is the only item that I knew from the video from Shinichi and Satoshi from Tabi Eats. Go and check them out guys on YouTube. This is a chestnut anko pan. I don't know if this will be good. But it's still damn super soft and pillowy. Let's try it out. I don't know if this will be good or maybe it will not taste like something that I want to eat right now. But terakimasu. Mmm, the chestnut makes this so good. Mmm, it is really healthy. <laughs> but I like the bread. It's every time in a Japanese bakery, the breads are so soft. Mm. Some protein. Hey man, this taste from this one tastes like a cold. Yeah, cold. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I buy me one in the morning when I was at Mr. Donuts, you know. Yeah. Hey. I try it. Did <laughs> I, hey? I drink your cold or what is it? <laughs> I like it cold. That's why I buy this mm. again. Mm. You have to wash it down with some milk. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Time for the next item guys, I really don't know what this is, I think just maybe a plain milk bread But it's super soft, so oh, like a baby ass, oh my god, this is not normal But let's tear this apart, maybe it's filled, I don't think so, but No, it's not really filled, they got something Like a layer, but Let's see So, itadakimasu Mmm there is something inside. So damn easy and delicious to eat. Mmm. I don't know. Maybe a little kind of layer from white beans. Uh, sweet white beans. I don't know. This is a summer edition. It was on sale for the summer. And it got something like a lemon. Looks like. Oh, look at this guys. It's so soft again. Oh wow. I love this bread. So, oh, and it's filled. Woo! I think it was lemon. I hope you can see it. And let's see, guys. Oh my god. Oh wow. Like a lemon cheesecake, lemon cheesecake filling. Super refreshing. Perfect for the summer. Oh wow. Mmm. <laughs> oh shit, this is so far my favorite one. <laughs> oh wow. Mmm. <laughs> Goodbye, baby. Mmm. <laughs> oh wow, the quality, you can taste the difference. In Germany, we got the Japanese bakery. I make two chite videos from them. And I gotta say, I was really in love with the bakery. But right now, when I tried this once, this is not comparable. Really, thank you Shinichi and Satoshi for the advice to go to the bakery. Trust me guys, it's really a good one. So let's try out the next item. And I really don't know what this is. I think this is something savory. Because it got some cheese. Here, you can see melted cheese. And some maybe oregano or... I don't know, but... Oh, wow! Oh, I didn't know that. So, terakimas. It's curry. It's kind of veggie curry. 
curry all day long. Next cheat day, no curry for me. Mmm, but I love it. Mmm, the cheese makes everything better. And we got here also a curry pan, I think, as well. Oh, mmm, no. Oh. Let's see. A cheat day without anko, without the anko pan, without the anko pan, guys. A bakery, it's not possible. We have to eat something with anko. So, azuki bean paste. I hope. I don't know. <laughs> but it looks like one. And it is one. Def oh, yeah. You can see it. Look at the cross section. Oh, all the beans. Oh, yes. I love anko. Oh, itadakimasu. The red bean flavor is so much stronger than in Germany from the bakery. We don't have azuki beans in Germany. We only can get this in Asia stores. But here it's so fresh and then you really can taste the difference from a factory, from the factory brand to a real bakery. That's for sure. Oh wow. You like Anko? Yeah. Try. Thank you. Mm. Oh wow. Oh wow. I think this is a curry one. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and what a smell. Oh wow, guys. A deep fried curry pan. My favorite thing in Germany, from the bakery in my heart. Mmm, but this is so much better. Oh wow. Just look at all the curry. That's why over 390 calories for only one. Mmm. Oh. Deep fried dough. Mm. And it's filled with anko. Yes, it is. It's filled with red bean, guys. Oh, yeah. A lot. Oh, my God. Look at all the filling. This is crazy. And hefty. Really, you can feel it. So, this is going to be my last meal for this cheat day video. Itadakimasu guys, let's try out the masada with red bean paste. <laughs> oh wow! Oh! Mmm! <laughs> That was all from the cheat day. I hope you liked it. And if you like it, please thumbs up. It will give me a lot. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for much more videos here in Japan, definitely. And also follow me on Instagram guys to be updated all the time. Then you can see all my stories, what I do over the day also. Guys, cheers, we see us. Peace out from Japan, love you all. Gochi so sama deshita guys. This was a feast. Sayonara.